Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today I'm Solo a Monster Legends week video. I have a brand new Ancestral Relic for you guys, as well as three new movesets. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so first of all, the Ancestral Relic is called the Dark Blades Mask. And it can do AoE, Dark Damage, and Nightmares if the target's life is below 50%, which is really good. And then it can also, when the turn starts, if the wearer's life is below 50%, it will also do more AoE damage. And it also applies double damage, so that is very, very amazing. These two ones are already incredible. And then if all allies are from the Dark Blades faction, it can deal more damage to the enemies and apply bleed. And that is another AoE thing. So yeah, all three of these are amazing. This is a very, very good mask. I definitely suggest so you guys get it, but it will cost like thousands of gems. So I'm not sure how practical that is. But yeah, it is a very, very good mask. And then we have our first new moveset for Albin Nasa. And it is going to be for a light and fire support with damage increase, random hater, taunt hater, and hardened hater. Which honestly, not very many of those sound very good. So it has a applies double damage to one ally, which is a pretty good move. It can also do low fire damage to all enemies, which isn't good. There's a random element elemental hater to all allies which is decent it's got damage boost to all allies it has triple damage to one ally which is really good with hardened hater which a lot of people do have hardened then he also has taunt hater and a random element hater which is okay got an aoe double damage which is cool and applies a 25% and a 33% damage boost to all allies which is interesting so yeah overall she's has some good damage boost moves so this will be a good monster for bounty hunt so definitely go and try to get her and then we have a kaleta which is going to be a fire and a metal attacker with stun burn ignite and daze so it's going to have an aoe stun and daze which is pretty good it has a stun twice which is really cool it also has a burn and ignite it's got an aoe daze aoe ignite massive fire damage and massive metal damage and then a moderate fire damage and burn so this monster doesn't seem good at all not really a very great attacker and then we have the last move set for mag Kara, which is going to be a metal and magic attacker with extra turn curse bleed and burn so we have a moderate fire damage with burn we have a curse which is pretty good actually we also have a burn hater with an extra turn so you can apply that and then apply the burn and then do a bunch of damage and then a low magic damage with an extra turn we have low metal damage we have curse burn and bleed in one move then an aoe fire damage so this monster just doesn't seem that good either honestly but i guess it's okay and then last but not least we have the abyssal era season 3 checklist so this monster right here mac Kara, is going to be the race monster and then at kalita is is going to be the free legends pass monster which yeah she's kind of bad and then albanessa is going to be maybe the breeding event monster but we don't know for sure yet but that one actually seems pretty decent so hopefully it is the breeding event because then we can all get it yeah that is going to be it for this video let me know down in the comments which monster you like the most out of these three and i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to like share and subscribe goodbye